Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Storytime with Miss Cox. We are having Storytime outside today because it is so beautiful. One of my favorite things about spring is that it is chilly enough if you want to wear like a long sleeve jacket or a cover up, but it's also warm enough to go outside and have fun. I hope you all are staying safe and I hope that I get to see you all soon. So this story is called, There Might Be Lobsters. It looks like our setting is where? Where is our story taking place? Right, the beach. And on the back, we see some buildings, we see sand. So if you notice on the cover, the girl is jumping right in. She is ready. She has her little float on. She has goggles on. She is just ready to go and have fun. But the dog, he looks rather nervous. What do you think he's nervous about? Let's find out. So our author is Carolyn Creamy. The illustrator is Laurel Malk. And that actually, I think her last name is Crema, not Creamy, sorry. <laughs> My mistake. All right, so let's read her story and find out what happens. I'm gonna scoot up a little bit so you all can see. The picture's better. Lots of things at the beach scared Suki. Lots. There might be lobsters. This is our title page. So we already know that our character Suki is very terrified of the water and Looking at the title of her story, the name of her story, why do you think that might be that she is so scared? Are you afraid of the water too? Come on, Suki, you can do it, said Eleanor. She stood at the bottom of the stairs to the beach and waved to Suki. But Suki was just a small dog and the stairs were big and sandy and she hadn't had lunch yet and her foot hurt a little and she might get a shell stuck up her nose and she might tumble down on her head and then she needs stitches and besides, there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the top of the stairs with Chunka Munka by her side. Chunka Munka is her pet toy, her toy monkey. Oh, all right, said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a tisk and a huff and carried them down the stairs. Some of you may have dogs, especially puppies, that you have to carry them around because they just decide that they don't want to walk anymore. They're lazy. Come on, Suki, you can do it, said Eleanor. She tossed the beach ball Suki's way. What is Suki doing? She is running away from the beach ball. But Suki was just a small dog and the beach ball was big and beachy and it might hit her nose and then it would pop and it might be too loud or it might knock her down and she might never get up again and she might have to live on the beach forever and eat seaweed to survive. And besides, beach balls attract lobsters. So Suki sat far away from the beach ball with Chunkamunka by her side. Poor Suki. Oh, Suki, Eleanor swooped that pup up with a tisk and a huff and cradled her in her arms. Come on, Suki, you can do it. Eleanor stood at the water's edge and splashed a little splash at Suki. But Suki was just a small dog and those waves were big and they were whooshy and they were salty and they were too wet and they might toss her out to the middle of the sea and she might float all the way to Tasmania or even Florida and she might be swallowed by a whale and she wasn't wearing a bathing suit and besides there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the edge of the water with Chunkamunka by her side. Oh, Suki, said Eleanor. She shook her head and dove into the waters. Has there ever been a time where, usually I ask, has there ever been a time where you're scared of something, which you can still answer that, but has there ever been a time where you were the one who was so excited and you were like Eleanor, rushing into the water, facing your fears and 
maybe you've had a friend like Suki. So you wanted them to join you. Did they join you and what happened? How did you help them not be afraid anymore? Suki sat and watched beach balls bouncing and big boys running and umbrellas flapping and lifeguards blowing loud whistles and waves splish splashing with chunkamunga. Now I will say going to the beach and not playing or reading or swimming in the ocean, it's not really fun, right? Just sitting there staring at the water. <gasps> Floating out to sea. What happened to Chunkamunka? Susie barked for Chunkamunka to come back. Chunkamunka started to sink. So a big wave has come and has taken Chunkamunka and pulled it away from Suki. Suki started to paddle. She paddled past a big beachy ball and through the huge salty wave and over something that might even be a lobster. Until she had Chunkamunka, he was safe. Suki has saved him. Oh, I'm so glad that she faced her fear. And she wasn't even really thinking about being afraid, was she? Because she wanted to get to Chunkamunka. She felt braver than the bravest dog because even though she was very small, Chunkamunka was smaller. Oh, Suki, I knew you could do it, said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a yay and a hooray and swung them very gently through the air. Suki sat in the sandy sand with the wavy waves and watched for lobsters with Chunkamunka by her side. And they didn't see one all day. So they're saying, you know what? There wasn't even a lobster. And she realizes I was kind of scared for nothing. So now I'm going to ask you, when is a time that you have been brave? What is something that you did? Maybe you helped one of your siblings do something. Maybe you saw a stranded animal and wanted to help them out. So how, how have you been brave? I'll have to be thinking of my answer. I'll leave it in uh, the comments after I post our video. I hope that you all are staying safe and staying well. I love you guys. I miss you. Mwah. See you soon. Bye.